Are you outraged that Woodward earned 3.9 million last season? Well, the average footballer... 3.09 million. Yeah, I heard you. The average footballer in the Premier League earns £70,000 a week, so they earn 3.7 million, 3.64 million, okay? So the, the, the chief executive of a leading football club that, that commercially is probably going the right direction is in that area and should be paid at that level. Mr. Slade. This is such a crock of shit. Are you finished, Mr. Slade? No, I'm just getting warmed up. In 2017, Man United topped the Deloitte Money League, the most valuable football club in the world. Four years later, we dropped to fourth position. And all of that has happened under Ed Woodward's watch. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has done a terrific job in helping get the club back towards where we want to be on the pitch. And that's in spite of everything that's happening off the pitch. And what I want to do in this video is really talk about what I would consider major failures by Woodward in his role as the Premier League's highest paid CEO of overseeing this downfall in the last four years. So that's what I'm going to do. Before I start, make sure you subscribe to United People's TV if you're new. I do plenty of videos like this and it's always good to have more of you involved. And if you're watching on Facebook, drop a like on the video or share because it's important that everybody really understands this and knows about it. So let's talk about it. Once upon a time, Ed Woodward was pretty much untouchable as a CEO of Manchester United. Look between the years of 2012 and 17 and look at our continued revenue growth up until the point where in 2017 we topped the charts. Revenues were nearly at 700 million euros. Revenues nearly doubled over the last five years and despite our real failures on the pitch, the growth was sustained. But despite Ed Woodward's repeated claims that Manchester United on the pitch failures didn't affect the off the pitch commercial value that has now come to fruition every united fan knew that was bullshit and now we are seeing that it really is bullshit because the 2021 deloitte money league has been released and whereas man united were first four years ago we're now fourth and in 2021 it's proven that united's on the pitch stuttering over the last few years has affected the revenues, which are down nearly 20%, hit by a lack of Champions League football the previous season, a decrease in broadcast revenues, and of course, coronavirus has hit it massively as well. But it's hit Barcelona, it's hit Juventus, it's hit Real Madrid, City. Every single football club in the world has been hit by the coronavirus. But United, we've dropped from first to fourth. And that has happened all under Ed Woodward's watch. So talking about him deserving that money as, United, as the, the best paid CEO in Premier League football, yes, we're still making more than any other team in the Premier League. So some people might argue that's the case, but I don't think that's the case. And for me, it's only going to get worse because look at Chevrolet. United signed an extension with Chevrolet, an extension on that deal to keep them as our main shirt sponsor. They wouldn't have done that previously. There would have been people and club and brands lining up to replace Chevrolet. But United you know, have extended it because the coronavirus has made it a very strange market and therefore everything is more reserved. And with Adidas as well, that hasn't really gone as successfully as Adidas would have wanted, certainly because of our on the pitch failures. And all these all these things align and all these things maybe get forgotten about and maybe don't get talked about often enough. You know I've talked about Woodward plenty and I've talked about the Glazers plenty as well. But once upon a time, I would say between 2012 and 2017, Ed Woodward basically wore an immortality jacket. He was untouchable. He was God as far as Joel and Avram Glazer were concerned. The Glazers loved Woodward before what he was doing at United. They didn't really give a shit about the on-the-pitch failures because they don't give a shit about that United. And we all know that now. But now they cannot ignore this. This cannot be ignored that Woodward has failed in his role as CEO of Manchester United since 2017 and he's taken us from being the most valuable football club in the world to four years later being the fourth and we've dropped and that's all happened under Woodward's watch and if Frank Lampard can lose his job because he's not doing it properly at Chelsea and Ole Gunnar Solskjaer can be heavily scrutinized for what he's doing in his role as United's manager which he can fairly then I can scrutinize Woodward's role as CEO of Manchester United, and I can point out that he is failing. Now, of course, he's not going to be held to the same standards because that's just not how it works. And the Glazers don't care. They're out in Tampa Bay 
celebrating the fact that they've got to their first Super Bowl in 16 years and Joel Glazer's given interviews and I'm going to do a video on that next week. They don't give a crap about United. They never have. But Woodward is still in charge and he's been their go-to man, the person who's kept it ticking over, kept it working properly. But the proof is in the pudding here and the proof is in the numbers because we are not the most valuable football club in the world anymore. Where we were four years ago, we now aren't. And Woodward is the man responsible for that. And I don't want anybody telling me that the coronavirus is the main cause of all of this because it still hit every single other club in the world. It's also hit United. It's, it's, there's a, there is a market downturn which is fair and reflected in every single club. So it's not just Manchester United. And bear in mind, these are the 2021 figures will be taken from the previous year anyway. So it's next year where the coronavirus is really going to hit the money league and really going to hit the numbers of all the clubs. But I just wanted to bring this back to the surface again because I've talked about Ed Woodward plenty and I've talked about Matt Judge plenty. And Ole Gunnar Solskjaer right now, what he's doing uh, on the pitch with United, he's overachieving given the investment that happened in the summer and where we were we finished third last year we should not have been we should not have improved on that given the fact that we only signed Tellez that we only signed Van der Beek that we only signed Cavani or a free we didn't sign Sancho we didn't sign the centre back the defensive midfielder the key positions that we needed because we didn't want to invest the money whereas over the pond the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are signing Rob Brady and Gronkowski and getting to the Super Bowl hmm it's almost like if you invest in players, you get to where you want to be. Anyway, I'll do that video next week. But I just wanted to bring it back to the surface again because these figures are brand new. They come out in January. The Deloitte Money League comes out every single year in January. And that's why these figures are being spoken about at the moment. And it's not as if I've just been ignoring them. It's just that they haven't been out yet. But to drop from first to fourth, it's, it's, it's reflective massively of United on the pitch. Because in 2012, the 13th season, Fergus last year, we were first. We were the cream of the crop. And now, well, we're, we're, we're having a much better season now. But nobody's under any grand illusion that Manchester United are going to win the Premier League this year. We're certainly challenging for it. But City are certainly clear favourites. But I just it just pisses me off to see the lack of scrutiny that happens for Woodward when he's failing in his position as CEO. And if you can credit him for his successes, because he's clearly had successes, at bringing in the, the regional sponsors instead of just having global sponsors, it worked. It, it, it's what got United up there, but it's not as if that money's then reflected in a, in a fair investment by comparison of the rivals. And everybody's going, oh, look how much money you spent on Maguire. It just pisses me off. It's, 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 everything's relative. What affects your club is different to what affects my club. And what affects United is a set of owners that don't give a fuck about them. A set of owners are far more excited that's going on in the NFL in Tampa Bay. And a CEO who's so comfortable in his position that he doesn't really need to be good at his job anymore because no one's going to point out his flaws. Apart from me in this video. And hopefully you, by sharing this video, speaking about this video, commenting on this video, doing whatever you can to keep making sure that 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 conversation about Woodward still exists and still stays relevant and still stays topical. And we keep talking about it because I don't want it to be forgotten about. No matter what happens on the pitch, even if United win the title this year, it doesn't change the fact that our owners and Woodward are not helping the club in any way, shape or form. And I will continue to bang this drum, maybe until United get pissed off at me and try and stop me from doing these videos, or maybe until some sort of change can happen. I don't think I'm going to cause any change. I don't think any individual can cause any change. But it doesn't mean that we can't talk about it and make sure that we really point the fingers in the right direction, no matter what happens on the pitch. But United, in 2017, we were the most valuable club in the world, according to the Deloitte Money League. And now we're the fourth. And for me, that's a clear indication of Woodward's failures over the last few years. And if he, if he had that immortality jacket before, he doesn't have it now and it's about time he started to get more scrutinized that's all i want to see the scrutiny that is given to Solskjaer, that is given to lampard that is given to anybody in terms of the managerial perspective and on the pitch perspective give that to the board and give that to the owners as well that is what they deserve and that's what i wanted to do in this video so uh, make sure you like and subscribe and stuff like that but just keep 
talking the talk and making sure that people don't forget about Woodward and the Glazers and over the last four years, the terrible job that Ed Woodward has been doing as United CEO.